So now in this video, I thought we would take a look at this little fella here. So this is a relay right here. There's a mechanical switch and it's controlled electrically. And you can use a lot bigger wire you want to when you're gonna be using uh, higher voltages and current that you can see there. So it's uh, rated for up to 10 amps. And I don't know, you probably wanna stay below five amps or something. But in case you wanna use a lot thicker wire than what we're using in this video, if you're getting up into the amp range. But uh, we have a normally closed, and uh, first off, there's common. So this is always connected to the mechanical switch part of it. Sometimes it's connected to that pin, though. Sometimes it's connected to that pin, direct connection. And so normally closed, when the coil is not energized, it's connected right there, uh, those two pins directly. And then if you energize the coil on that side over there, then the uh, two points here are connected, and that one's not connected. So normally closed or on and then uh, normally open or off. That's the normal position. The coil is not energized. So we have these three jumpers here, pins, whatever uh, you call them. And uh, so we'll uh, take a look at them. You power the module here. And this uh, T right there is the uh, signal. So I don't know why it says T, but uh, that's the signal you give it, telling it which position to go into. And uh, we saw it's a five volt relay. And uh, it says 5 volts there. I don't know why it says 3 volts there. Maybe there's a 3 volt option too. But uh, you can see here on the uh, relay, 0, 5, VDC. That you, lets you know that it's a 5 volt direct current relay for controlling it. So now I have the power supply on at 5 volts, 5 volt relay there. We're going to need a lot of current to switch this into the normally open position when the coil is energized. And uh, so... We uh, will zoom in here, and you can see there is the uh, pin layout again. And for the uh, positive supply VCC, I put this red jumper. It's a female that just slid onto the uh, pin there. And then a, a blue jumper to ground, and a green jumper for our signal. So now we have the relay module, the whole unit here, powered. We have the uh, red jumper that was from the VCC to the positive supply and uh, the blue one ground to the negative supply right there and these don't need to be any larger these wires here it's the wires for a big load that would have to be larger if you're got a lot of current going through these and uh, so we're going to zoom in a little over here our our input here the T pin is uh, not connected to anything and the relay is in the normally closed position so I'm going to go to the negative rail right there give a low input and you can hear a click it's switched and you can see that the coil right now is being energized there's a lot of uh, current flowing but now it's holding the uh, switch in the normally open position in relationship to com now we'll give another low signal again and uh, that's how you click it back so that the normally closed pin is connected to the com pin and finally I have uh, 220 ohm resistors because we're using a 5 volt power supply and a red LED is allowing to lead the anode to the resistor short lead to the cathode going down to nothing and the reason why is because we're going to take the jumpers and all I had to do is screw them down into uh, the slots there again if you're doing something that's higher current use higher value or uh, thicker wire I mean so in any case we'll connect that red jumper there so that's one side of the switch. I think that's the normally closed switch. So that LED will be on when the coil is not energized. And then we will connect uh, this jumper. I think that's the normally open switch right there uh, to that LED. And so one or the other is going to complete its circuit through the uh, blue jumper depending on the uh, switch position. So we'll go to ground right there. And you can already see the one that I said is normally closed. The LED is on. And we'll zoom back. You can see that's just the current of the LED. If I uh, remove the LED, you can see that there's no current. So try to sneak that back in there. And if I switch it, so remember we need to take the uh, green signal and put it to the uh, negative supply right there. And it's switched. So it's holding in position, but you can see all that current that we have to uh, provide. And uh, sorry about the mess over here. And so it's got a whole lot of current to hold that position. That'd probably be something you want to do uh, briefly, uh, unless your load really depends on a ton of current where that uh, barely makes any difference. But in case you can see, you can lock the relay into one position 
or the other right there just one needs a lot more current than the other there are latching relays they're more expensive than regular relays the uh, module is doing the work of latching it into place but you need current and uh, so if you absolutely need a latching relay they are out there but this particular module uh, that just switched because I bumped this but uh, this particular module will not lock into place on its own so uh, you got a lot more work ahead of you to find an actual latching relay they're nowhere near as easy to find as uh, these but in any case hopefully you still enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen check out my links below make a donation if you can I could really use them that uh, helps a ton I'll see you in the next video.